Fresnel to mirror arrangement. Fresnel was a scientist. In this experiment, he used two mirrors, M1 and M2. He arranged the two mirrors such that they are inclined at very small angle theta. He used a source of light, a single source of light. When the light ray fall on M1 mirror, at this point M1, then the ray is reflected in this direction at A1. When the ray of light fall from S1, S source, at the end of the M1 mirror at point M, then it is reflected in this direction at the point B1. Again, when the source of light S fall on M2 mirror at the point M2, then it is reflected in this direction at the point B2. When the source of light fall on M1 M2 mirror, at this end at point M then it is reflected in this direction at the point A2 at the point M the both mirror M1 and M2 ends are joined here we can see both because both the mirror are inclined at very small angle theta then then when we retrace the path, the ray, which are reflected from M1 mirror, then we will see that it appear to diverge from S1, such that when we retrace the path M1 A1, then it, it appear to come from S1. Again, when we retrace the path M B1, then it appear to come from S1. Again, when it is the path which are reflected from M2 mirror, then it appeared to come, diver, come from H2 me, H2 point. Such that when it is the path M2 B2, it appeared to come from H2, and when it is the path M A2, then it appeared to come from H2. Here, the both S1 and S2 act as a source of light which are coherent in nature now when we see the reason which are the ray reflected from m1 and m2 mirror the both light rays superpose in the region a to b2 in the re this region this region this region this region this region only at b2 and A2. In this region, we see the interference signal. Why we see the interference signal in this? Because both the ray which are reflected from M1 and M2 superpose in this region only. From the figure, we see that MS is equal to MS1 and M s1 is equal to m s2 so this all three are at equal distance from point m so this arrangement is arranged in this way only that m is the center of this circle such that s s1 and s2 lie on this circle let the distance from m s2 is equal to r then the distance m s1 is also equal to r and the distance m s is also equal to r we have seen that m b1 is the reflected ray from m1 mirror and m a2 is the reflected ray from a2 mirror then the angle between a2 m b1 is equal to twice the angle between the mirror at a starting only i have told that the both the mirror is inclined at theta very a small angle so the angle between a2 m b1 is equal to 2 theta now this opposite angle will also equal to 2 theta we know that angle is equal to arc by radius
then 2 theta is equal to s1 to s2 this is the r and the radius the distance from m s2 is equal to r then 2 theta is equal to s1 s2 by r so s1 s2 is equal to r into 2 theta now the distance from this s1 and s2 to die screen is d so we have finished fresnel 2 mirror arrangement now we will see all the figure this all the figure nicely and after this i will discuss again all the point line and by line and give you notes also you can see this all the figure nicely now we will discuss whatever phenomena i have told earlier by point by point here s is a source of light second point two coherent sources are obtained by the phenomena of reflection again next point experimental arrangement consists of two plane mirror inclined each other at very small angle theta one portion of narrow slit s is reflected from the first mirror and other from the second mirror light appear to diverge from s1 and s2 in the region a to b2 we observe fringe patterns from the figure m s1 is equal to m s2 is equal to m s let r be the distance from s2 to m the fringe width is beta is equal to lambda capital d by a small d where capital d is the distance from the source s s2 to that screen and a small is the dis a small d is the distance between the two source s1 and s2 m b1 and m a2 are the reflected ray from mirror m1 and m2 respectively angle between m b1 and m a2 is twice the angle between the mirror here angle s1 m s2 is equal to angle m angle a2 m b1 is equal to 2 theta now angle s1 m s2 is equal to 2 now the angle s1 m s2 is equal to 2 theta as we know that angle is equal to r by radius here the 2 theta is equal to s1 s2 by r where s1 and s2 is equal to 2 theta r where r is the distance from m s2 is equal to m s1 where r is the radius now we have we has we have finished fresnel 2 mirror arrangement thank you